Okay, this is to show how messed up the system is. Don't know if you can see this. There's today's date. But me and my son, we had to go to the Salvation Army to get some food. Salvation Army place that gets billions and billions of dollars of money and donations, but yet can't seem to give food to people that's edible or good. I mean, it's the best buy date on the bag of chips for great value from Walmart, the cheapest brand. December 17th, 2012. So it's January, February, March, April. So four months and two weeks old on the chips. And then we got some nice thin mints here. Let's see, expiration date September 2012. September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. That's old food. You know, you gotta eat it. Hungry. Here we got chuck wagon with some Russian on it. Uh, it says made in the USA. Uh, but let's see. Uh, yeah, I can't even tell it's. Looks like 2012, but yeah, hot dogs, a 99 cent pack of hot dogs at the store, and we have to get old frozen hot dogs, see can we read, I can't get into that can I, probably not, Yeah, it just tells me there's something wrong when a place gets all that money and they don't actually buy any food with it. Let's see, frozen chicken breast tenders, December 25, 2012. So, yeah, that seems to be a lot. So that's four months old. Jimmy Dean Maple, January 20, 2013. That seems to be a fairly fresher. January, February, March, April. And here we go. Home Smokehouse Pecan Smoked Sausage on a Stick. Never ever heard of it. Best by 314. So January, February, March. So that's only six weeks outdated. So the Salvation Army and all their givings and all their money and all their donations that they get, they give out old, months old, six months old food for people to eat. That's what they think of the people they help with their food pantry. You know, I've gone to some before and seen them giving out boar meat and uh, venison, you know, which is more common, but some uncommon things. Buffalo, ground buffalo. That was odd, but it makes you wonder what happens to all those millions and millions of dollars that they're given, assuming that they're spending it on food for pantry. And apparently they're not spending money on pantry. They're getting donations of stale food that nobody else wants. And that's what they give to uh, the people who ask them for help. So, that's my opinion. The system's corrupt. Like I say, I shouldn't go to my local Salvation Army in Middletown, USA, and get this as a handout. I didn't think we were in Russia where we get food from December, chicken from December, which is, it's almost May 1st, so four full months old. This one, let's see, the Jimmy Dean's January 20. February 20, March 20, April 20, so it's three and a half months outdated, so it's probably, what, six months old when it was made, hopefully it's been frozen, but I just had to vent and point that out, so maybe other people will pay attention and realize what, what companies or businesses or charities 
like that end up doing. I'm sure they pay more money to one person that works there as one of their higher ups, majors and everything that do the work probably make more in a week than the food they give out in a month. You know, I'm not sure, but it just seems really odd when you get food that you can't read the box. You know, I would assume I'd be in a third world country getting some English product and not understanding it, but I'm an American getting stale food from Salvation Army. So, that's, like I say, my venting. Yeah. Have a good one.